Hi, and welcome to the student, student panel for Accepted Student Day. I'm very happy to be joined today by a number of students that are active in the nursing program. My name is Karen Barnett, and I'm the Assistant Dean for Undergraduate Studies, and I oversee the nursing program. We're gonna start with having each student introduce themselves. Eric. Hello, hi, um, my name is Eric Kermino. Uh, I'm a senior in the uh, nursing program here at UMass Dartmouth. Um, I chose UMass just because I found it was local. Um, it was very easy to financially, and it also had um, very good credentials regarding nursing and passing NCLEX rate along with um, different accredited classes that really struck my interest when looking for colleges to apply to. Thank you. Jake? Hey, I'm Jake O'Brien. I'm a sophomore here at UMass. I currently commute to UMass. Um, I used to live on campus, but um, because of the pandemic, I chose to live at home to be safe. Um, I chose UMass because of the proximity to my house. I live in Plymouth. Uh, it's not too far away from my house in case I need to come back for anything. And also I chose there because um, like a former chancellor used to say, you're going to UMass for a private education at a public cost. And I really appreciate that. And I'm, I am getting the great education there. Great, thank you. Nora? Hi, um, I'm Nora. I'm a senior in the College of Nursing. I lived on campus for my first three years. I commute now due to the pandemic. Um, but I fell in love with the college for the labs that it has um, for the different nursing simulations. And I really like the school for the pass rate for the NCLEX because it shows that they really prepare you well for passing your boards and moving on to, to being a nurse. Thank you. Ariana. Hi, my name is Ariana. I'm also a senior in the nursing program. And I lived on campus for the first three years, but now I'm at home commuting because of the pandemic. And I chose UMass Dartmouth for similar reasons. I loved the nursing labs, the sim rooms and the assessment rooms. And I also thought that UMass's program of study was different than other colleges that I looked at. And it gave me more flexibility. So I liked that. Great, thank you. And Jennifer. Hi, I'm Jennifer Jackson. I am a senior in the nursing program. Like Nora and Ari, I also lived on campus for the first three years. Um, and one thing that I really enjoyed about our program that I chose it for was how early you get to start clinicals. Unlike most schools, you get to begin at your sophomore year, second semester, which was really great. And then additionally, it allowed me to run cross country while I was in school, which was another really great thing. And overall, you just hear really a lot of great things about the program. Okay, well, thank you. Um, I'd like to hear a little bit more from one or two of you about your adjustment to college from high school and some of the challenges that you faced and maybe how you overcame those. So who would like to start? I'll start. To be honest, I didn't really see too much of a difference. Although the biggest thing that you gotta get used to is making new friends. Cause you're going from some group that you completely like you're awesome friends with them you love them you spend time with them now you move into this new population where you barely know anyone so the biggest thing is making new friends but I had no problem you just got to go around be be yourself be nice and people appreciate it they they love me there I really love everyone there too um and you know if you keep up good study habits from high school going into college like I have and adjusted things here and there, you'll have no problem. There will be no problem at all. Um, I wanted to follow up on Jake's. I really agree. Um, everyone at UMass is really nice. And I think that you find at state schools, you meet a lot of really nice people because of the affordability. I think you just find a lot of like-minded people and people, when you find people in your program, they're very like-minded and you have a lot of new people you're surrounded with. Additionally, I think the transition was part of the hardest part of going to college, but I think it's very beneficial overall. It's scary at the time, but in the end, you find it really rewarding in how much personal growth you have. Great, thank you. 
Can somebody talk a little bit about the um, studying that is required when you're in the nursing program? How much uh, time it takes, how you adjusted to the studying that's required, um, and maybe some tips for incoming students. So I'll take this one. Um, so I think I spend roughly three hours a day studying, but it really depends on whether or not we have class or if we have clinical. And also if there's like a bigger exam coming up, I'm obviously gonna spend more time dedicated to that exam. But the biggest thing for me was like time management and like setting a schedule. Even if our classes aren't at a set time, I like to set aside certain time for each class and then study the amount that I need for each class. And it's always different, but it's about three hours a day. I also want to share, I really agree with that. Um, when you go into nursing school, I think you hear a lot of things like, oh my gosh, you're going to have no time, but it's a lot less overwhelming than you might think as far as workload. I think the teachers are very understanding. If you talk to them and tell them you're struggling with something, they'll help you. Um, we're still able to get like eight or nine hours of sleep a night and have plenty of time for like extracurriculars. So I think it's really good and they really are caring and understanding. Thank you. Eric, did you have something to add? Um, yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, like going off Ariana and what Jen uh, Jennifer said, um, basically studying is also at your expense to uh, your abilities of how you may feel uh, in the nursing program. So if you feel more comfortable with the subject, you may uh, apply yourself a little bit more to that topic, whereas some other topics you may struggle with and need more um, uh, focus on that uh, area of subject. But it's also um, very important just to take into consideration that uh, a lot of the times from transitioning to high school, uh, from high school to college, you won't really have your teachers on your back as much uh, in college, where a lot of the times it's personal responsibility and independence that is uh, really promoted in the college environment, whereas it's a lot different than high school environment. Thank you. Any tips on where students can go for help, especially new students in the freshman year? Um, if they're struggling with their studies, um, if they're studying, uh, struggling with making friends, um, what kind of tips do you have for new students? Um, I think I want to take this one. So for making new friends, I think one of the biggest things, I was really shy coming into college and that was probably one of the things I was really scared for. But what's great about UMass is there's so many activities to do. I started with cross country and track. I do year round running and there's so many great people. It was like an automatic family. You always had people to go to, people to sit with. And if you meet older people on like clubs, activities, sororities, whatever you decide to do, a lot of the older people will take you under your, their wing and show you different study tips. A lot of times they'll have nights where they'll go to the library and help you out. Additionally, I know the struggles of like freshman year chem. So going to the tutoring center was a lifesaver for me. Um, yeah, there's so many great things. I can add on to that a little bit. Um, like Eric said, our professors are not on our back like they are in high school. And so if you're struggling in a class, it's really up to you to take initiative and, and seek out help. Um, teachers are a great resource, but you have to go to them. Uh, and then like Jenny just said, the tutoring center is great because it's run by students that have taken the class that you're taking before. And so they can give you study tips, they can go through work with you. Um, there's always help and getting friends that are a grade above you will will be a really great tool because they can also give you tips and help you work through different things so there's always a lot of help i know one of the things that they had me do in my freshman year was that um they had different advisors um for the students like you'd be grouped up with <clears throat> different advisors and one of the things that was part of it was that uh if you weren't doing so hot in a class, you would have to go to a, um, a tutor. Uh, there'd be like group study sessions every Thursday that we would have to go to. Um, I ended up testing out of it, but um, I had many friends that still had to go every Thursday and they ended up performing well towards the end of the semester and towards the end of last year. And now they are great, great students um, like Nora, was saying that the tutoring center, they'll help you out um, to get on track for things if you aren't 
ready for the load that nursing school might have for you. Okay, great. Those are great tips. Now I think um, our applicants would love to hear a little bit about your clinical and lab experiences, what you really love about them, um, maybe some um, ideas of the, the hospitals or clinical agencies that you go to. So if someone would like to take the ball on that and get started, that would be great. Uh, I'll start off with this one, if that's okay. Um, so basically here at UMass Dartmouth, there's a lot of, uh, plenty of opportunities that you can choose from uh, in regards to uh, simulations. Uh, we have a, a state-of-the-art facility here with the simulation lab where you can do different, multiple different um, types of simulations regarding med surge, um, maternity and pediatrics, along with uh, several different clinical environments that you can, you're exposed to in your uh, junior to sophomore through senior years whether it be in the local area in the South Coast facility uh, around Charleston, uh, St. Luke's, um, I, I wanna say St. Anne's as well, and the steward as well, um, as well as other uh, hospitals such as Beth Israel um, and, uh, I'm drawing a blank, <laughs> uh, Hasbro uh, for pediatrics and maternity. So there's plenty of different opportunities for kids to get exposed to the uh, real, world, real world environment in uh, their senior, the years in nursing. Um, adding on to what Eric said, I really like what you said about um, the surrounding hospitals. Adding off of that, I know that Charlton and St. Anne's are really close to our campus and they're some of our clinical sites. So what's really great is since we're affiliated with them, a lot of students will get jobs there and it's such a good experience, especially since we start early in our clinicals you can easily get a job there after your sophomore year and get a ton of experience. It'll help you get your foot into the door with nursing. And I think all of the nurses at these hospitals are really, really nice, which is kind of rare to find. I wanted to add a little bit about uh, my favorite clinical experience was traveling to Glendora, Mississippi as part of our community health clinical. I know students are often interested in what they can do to travel, and so the school offers two opportunities, one to Glendora, Mississippi, and one to the Azores, um, and that would be during your, your junior year, so hopefully those programs will be up and running by then, um, but that was a really great way to experience healthcare in the U.S., but to really see the really big disparities in healthcare that we have even in even in our own country and, and get a lot of experience with education and um, primary prevention. Jake, can you talk a little bit about your experience in the lab as a sophomore nursing student? Yeah, yeah. So, so far we've only had, um, I had health assessment lab last semester Right now, I have lab getting us ready for our clinicals, which are being held at um, long-term care facilities because of the pandemic. The hospitals in the South Coast system aren't gonna let as many nursing students in. So long-term care facilities in the area are gonna take us in instead, which I think is actually really good because one of the things that is stressed a lot in nursing school is the big amount of old people that's coming into this population and how little amount of nurses we're gonna have to take care of them. So exposing us to this kind of population early is definitely gonna set a lot of people straight in what kind of career path they wanna go into. Anyways though, uh, about the labs, I think that the labs have done amazing in preparing me to go into clinicals, even though I'm already a CNA, I've been a CNA for two years, so I've seen a good amount of things. I think this, the staff that they have, the clinical instructors, do a great job in preparing you for what you're going to see. My instructor gives us practical situations of what could happen, um, how we would react to it. Um, I know we're starting our care plans this week about like sample care plans we could have for this patient, that patient. Um, and I'm now, because of how ready I am, I'm looking forward to clinicals at this long term care. Great. Thank you very much. And Ariana, can you talk a little bit about your experience in the simulation lab? So the simulation lab are a great way to learn different scenarios that you're going to see 
in your career and in the hospitals. Um, so usually they'll give us scenarios ahead of time that you can research so you're prepared for it and then they'll run it through. And with your group after you do a debriefing session and it kind of shows you like, okay, what did we do good and what can we improve on, which helps a lot for when you actually experience it in practice, which I find really helpful. Great, thank you very much. We do really have a wonderful um, lab set up and I look forward to having all our applicants on campus so they can finally get a chance to see it. Um, one final question, um, if each of you can give us a little bit of um, advice about how to handle yourself in the pandemic, things that went on at school, maybe some experiences that you had either at the COVID um, testing center or with the vaccine clinics and how that impacted your education. Um, I know that your education changed a little bit in the spring um, when you went fully online. And hopefully by the time our new students come to campus, they will be back um, on campus learning. Um, but how did things go for you during the pandemic? How was the transition and the change? I think initially it was a bit of a shock for everyone, but the school actually did a really good job with the transition because they were able to give us a similar education. And I think through this, I developed more autonomy just because it gave you the chance to really build your own study skills, whereas you'd normally be studying with people. Um, they gave us the opportunity to talk to them in, in class, and then they offered us more interactive things like case studies. And it's just been a really, oh, also, yeah, the um, vaccine clinic, that's been really awesome. I love how they've been interacting with the COVID pandemic and integrating that into our education. So it's been great. Oh, I think I have something. With, oh, sorry, Eric. You go, you can go, sorry. All right, thank you. Um, kind of going off what Jen said um, about when it all started, it really hit us out of nowhere. We thought we were just going home for a week for spring break and then a week later, we're getting an email saying we can't go back to the school because of the pandemic. It was crazy. Um, and then, like I said, I'm a CNA. At my place, we had COVID pretty bad and I had to work 40 plus hours a week in addition to doing school because of how short staffed we are. So many people were out sick with COVID. I was still getting A's in my classes. It's all about your time management, how you plan out your studies, how you're going to study. That's what matters. It doesn't matter that there's a pandemic going on, although it does matter. Um, it's just about how you handle yourself and how you prepare for your classes, like I said. Um, yeah, going off of what uh, Jake and Jenny said, uh, it's very important to um, also utilize the uh, resources you may have to your disposal as well. So uh, at the moment, now that the um, a lot of the limitations are being lifted, I know one of my problems is that I can't get anything done at home, and I, I find off I find out that I slack off a lot at home, and so try and take advantage of going to the library. And even though you may have to wear a mask and social distance, but it's also very important just to get you out of the home space and try and get a good uh, start on the day. I would agree with Eric. It definitely is hard doing things from home, um, but I think it also, like Jenny said, builds autonomy. You really have to be accountable for yourself. You're not in the environment living with other nursing students that are gonna say, let's go study. Um, so you have to be really self-sufficient. It's been quite a shock, um, but I think it got easier as we've been doing virtual school for so long. Uh, like Jake said, he's working, a lot of us are working. And so it was hard when COVID was hitting really, really bad to, to balance school and learning how to do school online while working. But the teachers have been really supportive. They really listen to you if you know you ask to move due dates or things like that, and they'll try to accommodate you. And kind of going off what um, Jenny and Eric said, it's hard working from your home and it's hard to differentiate doing your schoolwork and then being at home with your family. So I think setting aside time for yourself to not even do schoolwork and just like focus on yourself for once is really important because I, at the beginning of the pandemic, that is the thing I struggled with because I'm sitting at the same desk in my room doing homework for so long. It's hard to kind of differentiate that. And then also still reaching out to your professors. It's obviously not the same when you can't just walk into their office and say like, hey, I need help with this. 
but going to their Zoom office hours and reaching out to them through email is also like so important. Okay, great, thank you. Um, I appreciate all of your experiences and sharing them with our, our future nursing students. Any final tips um, before we go? How about one from each of you? One you remember that was helpful when you started the nursing program and we'll go backwards this time, Jennifer. Um, hi, I do have a tip that I wanna share. First is definitely get involved in the community, whether that's nursing, sports you do. I think it's a great way to meet people and it'll really change your educational experience. UMass is a great place to be, especially when you get involved. Secondly, I think the biggest thing for me is transitioning to school. The hardest part was the study difference for college. It's not like assignments, it's mainly test-based. So keeping yourself accountable, keeping your notes organized and being able to just study little bits at a time so you're not cramming the night before the exam. I've definitely been there and you'll definitely learn from your experience and it'll get easier and easier. Okay. Thank you. Ariana? One of the biggest things for me was studying in groups or with other people because that way you're able to bounce ideas off each other. If you don't understand something, you can talk through it, which helped me a lot with exams. Okay, Nora. One of the biggest things for me for my freshman year was making flashcards. Um, you'll take anatomy and physiology. And so every day after class, I would go and write all of my notes onto flashcards. And so not only rewriting your notes, but flashcards were just a tool that worked really well for me. Um, so I always recommend flashcards. Great, thank you. Jake? My biggest tip that I tell everyone, not just incoming students, but even nursing students right now, is to don't, do not get on yourself over grades. Do not do it because that's gonna lead yourself to failure. I know um, people that have told me that an A plus student can be a terrible nurse, but a C plus student can be a great nurse. It's all about how you handle yourself in the environment, in the nursing environment. Um, you know, there's kids that I know that really aren't doing so hot, but they are great people. And I'm sure once they get out of nursing school, they're going to apply the knowledge that they do have into the workplace and they'll be great. But like I said, A's, A's don't matter when it comes to personality, but still try hard in school, please. Thank you. And finally, Eric. <laughs> yeah, if I could uh, provide one takeaway that I've had from school or my, one of my most important points would just be to find something that works for you. Um, find a, a certain study method, whether it be a certain study method, a way of organizing your materials and notes and just stick to it. Just um, find that thing that works for you and um, you definitely utilize your time because like Jenny said, I've had plenty of times where I um, may not be the most prepared and it might end up going south for me, but you just gotta find the thing that works for you and manage your time. Great. Thank you very much. And thank you to all the student participants.